So the exercise says improve the transformations to make the estimation in A4 dynamic. This is instead of hard coding in the year, calculated from the system date. Remember, you can see the previous exercise like A4 and more exercises and the solution of them in the YouTube video comment. In the previous exercise, the solution was this one. But if we check the formula, we have 2016 hard coded here. This is not very good because next year we'll have to change it. And this is not very good to change the program every year just because it, the year changed. So we want this to be calculated dynamically. Uh, what can we do? Well, uh, the exercise asked me to use get system info. So we'll just put it here and we'll tell this that uh, we can use uh, some this year, some variable called this year or whatever, and to get the system date. Actually, it will be more like this uh, date. We can put any name, right? It's a variable for ourselves. Then we want to use that in this formula. So we need to make the this date get into the stream so the formula can see it. How can we do that? Well, this is a very common practice. We'll use a join to merge it into the stream. Uh, we'll put it here, the join, and let's change a little the name because it's very long. Let's put just join there. And we are not gonna put a, a condition. If, it, if the join is an inner join, if it doesn't have a condition, it will be everything with everything, but it won't multiply the number of uh, rows in this case because get system info is giving me only one row. So anything by one, anything times one will be the same anything. So we won't have more rows in this case. So we'll send this to uh, the output, we'll send it to the join and it will join this flow with this flow okay and then we need to use instead of 2016 we we will use this date here but the date will have all the date we want only the year that will be the first four uh, characters of the of whatever we have right so let's say we'll use the function left we can use any function that is on uh, here right uh, in this case, we're using left. We can see the uh, help here. Okay, we are taking the first four of this date. Let's see if this works. This will fail, but let's see why it fails first. And we'll, so we can understand it. Let's run it, let's see what, what it says. Perfect, okay. So let's open the output. Uh, it will be this one. And we have a problem here. In the year, we now have minus 45. Minus 45 is exactly this with the minus at the beginning, right? Obviously, or I think it's because uh, the parsing is not working and it's giving me an empty output. So empty minus 45 will be minus 45. So I'll show you the problem. The problem is that this is a date type and we are trying to make a left of the date type. So first we need to convert this into string so we can do a left. For that, for, for that we'll use another very common practice that is use the select values to transform types. It's not very intuitive to use select values to transform times, but it's like that uh, in Pentaho. So we'll include the select values here and in the in the window that we have, we don't use select alter, that is the proposed. We'll use only metadata and we'll say that this date, rename it to anything so it will keep the same name and the type, just modify the type that will be a string. That's it. So now this will be a string, this date, and now, now the parsing should actually work. Let's try it, let's see what how it goes. Okay, there you go. So now the is parsing correctly and uh, subtracting uh, the the year, and we now have the date dynamic using a formula, transforming the types and making a join to uh, put it into the flow of data.